This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. doing up here in the attic? Comedy at one off. There's nothing to watch. <laughs> Come, Nick. Everything's 3D Hollywood today. I remember back when I was, I was your age, you used to get uh, our old TV set. No satellite hookups or anything. Just two of signals out of the air. But wasn't that dangerous? Well, of course, uh, before the uh, Surgeon General found a link between uh, TV signals and cancer, that was before your time. Remember some old 2D shows, though? Uh, some were even in black and white. Wow! Of course, that was uh, before President Turner put that enforced colorization law through in the 20s. Those shows must have been really boring. They weren't even interactive. Uh, don't be so sure about that. There were some great shows back then. Oh, wait a minute. Let me look at this. Mm. Ooh, what? what's that? Oh, it's called a VCR. <laughs> Uh, see, back before all the video was put directly into computer memory in the comm net, people used to tape shows. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, there's, there's a tape already in here. Let me, let me hook this up here. Let me see what we got. Uh, oh, ooh, oh, damn radiation. <laughs> Come back with us to the 60s and 70s, the dwelling place of the lost generation. An era whose heroes, role models, and very lives were molded and formed by weekly installments of favorite television programs. Welcome to the place your parents didn't understand. Welcome to the vast wasteland. Welcome, Welcome home. home. Welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. I'm your host, Mark Schmidbauer, along with Wilbur Neal and Marty Wiley, and we're here to talk about 60s and 70s television. And tonight, it's commercials. But before we jump into the show, just a couple notes. As we always say, we're on Tuesdays at 6, Wednesdays at 10, and Thursdays at 3 p.m. here on ACTV Cable 21. Also, if you want to write to us for some reason, just write to Vast Wasteland, Box 151526, Columbus, Ohio, 43215. Also, one last note before we go on, I want to thank Jim Hagens, who's right now running one of our cameras, uh, who created the new logo for Vast Wasteland that you just saw on the air. And it's wonderful, and we couldn't be more pleased. And now, on to the show. Commercials, Wilbert, go. All right. Oh, you know, no matter how much you watch TV, um, you just can't escape those darn commercials. They're, they're always there, and especially now you've got remote controls and things, you can just, you can, you can, if you've recorded something, you can zap right through those commercials. But hey, you're missing a part of American culture if you do that. Commercials are important, and, and you, should, you should watch these commercials. I say you should watch these commercials. Amen. Anyway, but um, while you were, when, you were, when we were growing up especially, it was like, um, well, you didn't have those things back then, so you watched those commercials. Yeah. You, you got a lot out of them. I That's mean, right. Now, what do you get? You get um, toy commercials. Right. Uh, you, watch com you watch cartoons, you got toy commercials, even before, long before Christmas. You, right. Toy commercials, you got to rush out there. And you got a half hour toy, toy commercial, which one of the cartoon shows are now. This, this is true. <laughs> but um, back then, I mean, we had we had substance. We had commercials. We had real commercials. We had commercials for cereal. Yeah. <laughs> Good sugar-coated cereal. <laughs> none of this, none of this oat brand garbage. 
sugar frosted flakes and super sugar crisp. Yeah. It was sugar. <laughs> they call it super like golden crisp. Super golden crisp. They haven't changed the formula. It. It's, it's still sugar. <laughs> <laughs> the golden just comes from it's, the sugar. It's just golden sugar now. Yeah, which He's still a sugar bear. That's right. He's a little yeah. short sugar bear. <laughs> He's not super, golden super bear. Super bear. Or anything golden like that. super sugar crisp bear. It's just sugar bear. That's right. Sugar bear. <laughs> sugar bear. <laughs> That was, what was his name? The Blob? They always come after Sugar Bear. <laughs> Everything's been after. And then, and then, of course, Sugar Bear got his start you know, with Linus, Linus. Linus the Lionhearted, that's mm -hmm. right. Um, who, who ate the crispy critters. And the only gristle cereal that comes in the shape of animals. <laughs> well, they had a whole show on that. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Because each character had was identified with the cereal. With a, um, that's right, a uh, post cereal. Post yeah, we're on post series, yeah. Yeah, that, that that well, yeah, and but now, now we have <laughs> commercials that are 30 minutes long, and they call them cartoons, but the commercials for toys. Yeah, I mean, and this this would have this, this was, was like an actually a 30 minute commercial, but it was for um cereal. cereal. But it had a story. And they had stories. This is true. Hey. Wow. Lovable food for alphabet. Beautiful postman. Alphabet letters. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> so high for rice crinkles. Now that's, well, that's I guess we're in that, trouble with that. That now. got into yeah. trouble. I mean, the well, whole um, Frito Bandito. The Frito Bandito, the uh, So High guy, the Riceland Rice, Riceland Rice, Riceland Rice, Riceland Rice. That guy got in trouble. Um, and the whole the Dick Tracy cartoon that they had in the '60s that had all the uh, ethnic characters. Right. They uh, they they had it on then, and they took it off because it caused trouble back then. And then now they brought it back, and it's causing trouble again because there's more people that complain about it. But you know what we have is the commercial jingle for the song. When he's yeah. And we sang them. And now it's like it's scarf off an old Beatles record or, or something from popular. the Temptations. Yeah. Right. And they don't use original commercial music anymore like like they used to. Yeah, there there were just so many, um, gosh. Songs. Right. They were they were real songs. Um, and they were stupid, but we sang them. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like a uh, flop, flop, this, this. Oh, what a relief it is. Didn't they have an entire choir do that? Yes, they did. Yeah. They started off with one guy, but it did develop into a whole choir. In fact, the Alka-Seltzer thing, the, um, what else was it? Pepto-Biz, what was it? Pepto-Bismol? No, it was. I think it was just all Alka Seltzer. They they kind of had a corner on the market for um, commercials, for jingles, for I, songs. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. You ate it, Ralph. Yeah. And that that went along for I don't know how long. And um, the what? No, no matter what shape your stomach's in. Yeah. That was an Alka Seltzer, and that developed into a into a whole song. They developed. They made a whole song off of the commercial. The commercial. The 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 song for the, the music for that they made a whole and then um it was like all the major soft drinks it's like coke started out with and wanted to teach the world to sing well fresca well. fresca had a song too Trini yeah. lopez fresca did have a song um well seven up uh with the uncola Un did Peter Max do those? Peter Max did right. the Uncola thing. Of course, thing. we're growing up when the uh, pot art is the thing. Andy Warhol's painting Campbell soup cans. Right. So, of course, commercials could just glom off the art like nobody's business. Mm -hmm. no, but the, the 7-Up commercials were beautiful. Yeah, and they were um, they came out right around the same time that the Yellow Submarine was out. It's like the artwork was real similar, and they did similar things. In fact, they had a... They had a 7-Up bottle that was shaped like a submarine and at one point. it was painted point. on a wall here in Columbus. Okay. Down, um, I want to say like third, first street, something like that. I know where I've it is. It. I've you seen see, it. If yep. it's fading, it should be mm -hmm. retouched up again. But it is the uh, it's the old 7-Up seven seven submarine, seven submarine bottle. The Uncola. But you know how they all had a song? It's like... Coke had the real thing, I like to teach the world to sing, and Pepsi came in with Pepsi Generation, and, and you know, they kind of Come alive, okay. come alive, <laughs> you're in the Pepsi Generation, hey, okay. But it's like all the, you know, they, it was like a battle of the bands with the pop. 
commercial for a while. This is a cola nut. They grow here. <laughs> they are used to make cola flavored soft drinks. <laughs> These, on the other <laughs> hand, are uncola <laughs> nuts. They grow here too. <laughs> Notice they're a bit larger than the cola <laughs> nuts. Juicier because too. It's actually a lemon. And, and these cola nuts <laughs> yeah, are well. used to make the uncola seven up. <laughs> 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 I think, you know, I think today the only character... Marvelous. <laughs> Seven up, the uncola. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was... Jeffrey Holder did those right. things. He, yeah, he, he went like, on... Well, he did a lot of things. He was, uh, like, was a director and everything. Yeah, but he was like a character. We had commercial characters. Yes. And now it's like the only guy you really got that's a commercial character is little ever ready Bunny. Yeah. It goes through about everything, it. which that's is about great. It. I think it's one of the better commercials mm -hmm. on now. You can see it. Yeah, but so he's, he's still pampers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Messy BM <laughs> Well, but you have, um, you still got, uh, well, Tony the Tiger, he's he's like, uh, he's, he's, an institution. he's an institution. Right. He's been around since the 50s, or maybe the, well, the 50s at least. And Snap, Crackle, and Pop have been around. Very yeah, and Snap, long. Crackle, and Pop, they're still around. They, but uh, a lot of them, yeah, a lot of the Kellogg's ones have just faded into nothing. Really, um, you had, uh, let me see. I mean, the only ones left now, Tony, Snap, Crackle, and Pop, um, uh, well, we can, Toucan. Toucan Sam, Toucan, yeah. Toucan Sam, Sam, following he, his nose. Follow, he's <laughs> following his nose and making everybody else follow it too, put on little fake noses yeah. and follow after him. They always know. No. I keep expecting one of them to, okay, you know, when they start doing that, to fall off the tree yeah. or something. <laughs> it never happens. I'm falling. I can't get Shut up. <laughs> Lucky is still around. That's true, Lucky. Lucky That's for Lucky Charms. You, you know, you're talking about like a North Coast. We have Ronco. Ronco has faded to nothing. Yet. Ronco has become an institution which doesn't have its name anymore. It's just everything that you send for, you send to Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> you send to a post office yeah. box in Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia, you send to Columbus, Ohio. This is true. Right. This is true. So it's like this place doesn't <laughs> exist at all. You're just sending well, to these post Ronco, office boxes. Ronco, is, yeah, like you said, they've changed their name. Now they're the, they're the people that are running these, these half hour. Yeah, infotainment commercials. Oh, the things with the Mr. Ones that, Belvedere. Yeah. <laughs> like, They've got the whippet machine. Discoveries. <laughs> <laughs> they used to have just such great tacky products that you can pick up for $9.95. The Popeil Pocket Fisherman. The, <laughs> the Chopomatic. Slice yeah. What is it? The sli um, slice o matic slice o Chop a well, I don't care. It did well, everything. It yeah. slices, it, did, it dices. It, it gets up and cooks for you. Julian <laughs> fries. Just Julian that fries. easy. Wakes just up that in the simple. morning. <laughs> yeah, put them right in there and shoof. Yeah. <laughs> You've got just a bucket full of fries. Come on, you can feed a whole army. You can feed a third world country with this That's thing. Right. Just poof. There, there you've there got you enough go. fries for now potato, until the uh, family. <laughs> yes. For the rest of the year. And then some. You can you can you can cut the Ginsu knife. Right. The Ginsu, yeah. The Ginsu knife. You can sit there, you can cut through a can and still you can and still you can slice a tomato. Right. Or you just need to cut to the can, who knows? You lost your can opener. Uh oh yeah. Just gotta hold it up. Yeah, slice through the whole can by then you're spilling your whatever you're wanting to get out. Unless it's like uh, uh, jellied uh, cranberry sauce or yeah. something. It's, that stuff is out there. It's it's already on the floor. But That's right. You can cut through a can, though, by golly, and you can. That uh, knife stays sharp enough to cut anything. Yes, by golly, those Ginsu knives. They slice. They dice. They do everything. And they're still. They've got an indestructible plastic handle. <laughs> an indestructible hard plastic <laughs> handle. handle. And with it, you get Same the. Uh, what is it? The, the steak knives. You, the, get the, you get the steak knives. You get the large Ginsu knife. You get the steak knives. The set of six steak knives. You get the. Um, you get everything. That thing that. The, the, the spiral the slicer. Yeah. Spiral <laughs> slicer. There you go. <laughs> Where are those things now? Um, they're yeah. stuck in people's, um, in the back of their kitchen, kitchen. drawer. <laughs> Never to be seen again. That's yeah, right, that Ginsu knife, knife it's, it's sharp enough to last forever, but then they came out with better knives, the, uh, the bonsai knife, yeah. or whatever it was called. Yeah, it's probably a Ginsu knife. It is. Well, yeah. You've got a new bone handle instead of the old plastic handle. Mm. And you get the, uh, the laser knives now, and just... <laughs> Remember cigarette commercials? Oh wow, yeah. cigarette commercials. Now this is the thing. Um, there, there are no cigarette commercials anymore. They were haven't been cigarette commercials they were, for two decades. They were banned by the Surgeon General. We grew up when there were cigarette commercials. There were cigarette commercials. Remember the big uh, Winston tastes good like a cigarette, cigarette should. should. As a cigarette should. What do you want? Good grammar or good taste? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather fight and switch. And switch. <laughs> Those Terryton commercials. The great um, the 100s. 
The bits Benson and hedges, hedges 100. A and the silly people, millimeter longer. Mm -hmm. Well, there's the, the bits well, the and the hedges, hedges, hedges where they'd be on the elevator and the guy would be lighting up and the doors would shut on this. They were so long. <laughs> they were so darn long. long. You oh, couldn't do they? anything. So they'd close doors on them. They yeah. would pour drinks on them. Yeah. They would go through revolving doors and we just, oh, it wouldn't fit. Oh, no. My cigarette had been stuck in a revolving door. What am I to do? <laughs> I've got a whole pack. I'll just light another one. Virginia Slims. Yes, yeah, they, they still have them on the ads on the magazines and everything. But it was a song. Yeah. It's a long way, baby, to get where you've gotten the gay. You've got your own cigarette now, baby. You've come a long, long way. Well, hey, hey, any woman that wants to suffer it. <laughs> anyway. Um, and you had uh, the Marlboro. And that's um, the, the uh, commercial was the Magnificent Seven. Yeah. Well, it's, it, it, it they got that from the Magnificent Seven, yeah. which came out and didn't um. Was was Tom Selleck in those, or it was somebody At like some that? Point, yeah. That he was the Marlboro Tom Man. Tom Selleck was a Marlboro Man. Yeah, he was the Marlboro Man for he some was. years. Nah, yeah. he's not old enough to be. Yes, he was. Ah, really? uh, yeah. Hard Tom Selleck was the Marlboro. Everybody's truly. Digging through hard some archives believe. now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's those and um, oh, hey, well, uh, there's let's let's jump to shaving. <laughs> Oh, the Joe Namath. Uh, the take it off, take it all off. Yeah. Joey Hubbardson? Um, very she Well, she was, um, well she, well, she was after a while, but this was like. Susan Anton was, I think, at some point. Yeah. Uh, Just anybody who's somebody Blonde possibly Rusty. now, basically, yeah. That the, yeah. But that was like, she had a, the, the original lady had an accent. Yes, take it all. I, I don't know. I don't know who she was. It was somebody from Germany or something. I, I, don't, I don't know. know. Swedish or something. I never yeah. shaved. Somebody from across the <laughs> we they've just got an accent, we just know they're foreign. Right. Anyway. They um they were they did those commercials and let's see. Then um well you, we talked about characters on commercials, like well the Marlboro Man could be considered a character. We've got uh, people like uh Mrs. Olson. Yes. Right. And her coffee. Josephine yeah. the plumber. Yeah, Josephine. Yeah, yep. Um, well, the Maytag repairman, but he's still around. Yeah, just still well, it's, a new, it's a new Maytag. That's true. They did get a new Maytag repairman. Mm. But Madge is still so Oh, and hey, there was uh, Jack Jack Guilford that did Cracker Jacks. Yeah. So many years. And really wonderful toys. Yeah. Sherry. And the kids eat up, eat up all his Cracker Jacks anyway and might leave him one little crumb. Remember the Fago guy? Yeah. What flavors you got? Can you go through? Oh, you got all rock and roll. Look at that. Red Pop. I'll take I'll Red Pop. I'll take Red Pop. Bam! Take it out of the store. <laughs> <laughs> and there's uh well uh, let me see the uh the cracker jacks guy that just reminded me it goes back to cereals the, the tricks rabbit tricks rabbit is still around, sure. still around. and he still hasn't gotten any tricks <laughs> why didn't he just go buy some come on go to the store come on tricks rabbit the rabbits don't have any well, if he can sit here, if he can sit here, if he can sit here and pretend to be remember all these the other big, things. Uh, remember the big vote thing? Vote? Do you think he should have some? Well, they did that I like every yes election year. Every yeah, time. give the damn rabbit some tricks. <laughs> Come on, give him some tricks. That's all. Starving rabbit. Is it, is it too much to ask for this rabbit to have just one bowl of tricks? Come on, kid. I don't think so. I mean, he, if he's, if he's, he's talking to you. Give this rabbit some tricks. <laughs> I mean, that's a trick within itself. The rabbit's talking to you. That's right. Give him some tricks. <laughs> well, then there's the uh, were very popular late '60s cereal products that came and went. Quisp, Quisp and, Quake. and Quake. Oh, hey. <laughs> Quisp and Quake. Yeah, they were. For those of you who uh, don't remember Quisp and Quake. They were Quaker, right? Weren't they? Yeah, both Quaker. Quaker and products. Quisp, well, Quake was a um, an underground, he was a miner. Miner kind of guy. A miner kind of guy. And he uh, he started off wearing a hard hat, and he had this little grain pencil with him, and he was down there, and he's chunking out this, this cereal. 
He's like in a cereal mine. He's yeah. chunking yeah. out these and big in these, rocks of cereal. It was those, those funny gear-shaped chunks. Well, not it wasn't in gear shape yet. Well, it, was it, like it started chunk. off in just chunks because they were like, um, well, he had Captain Crunch first. Right. Well, and Crunch then they basically left over Captain Crunch. Yeah, it's like the Captain Crunch that didn't come out in the pillow oh, shape. It came out in there. chunks. And so they decided to make these new characters, and they had Quisp and Quake. And Quisp was this uh, bubble-headed. He was a saucer guy, like uh, outer space little guy. Like the two guys on Rocky and Bullwinkle, yeah. kind of. Yeah. <laughs> and they the big battle he and he had this rounded sir. Well, no, his was saucer shaped. Saucer shaped. It was shaped like little bowls. In fact, I've gotten twists in the past decades and it doesn't taste the same because they use meat to sweet. Yeah, they, and then, um. Yes, so it tastes like Quisp Light. <laughs> Quisp Light. Yeah. And then see, Quake went through this whole thing where um, they were changing the shape of his cereal to these gear shapes and he falls into the machine and he comes out yes. as a nice slim trim guy with a, 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 um, a safari hat on and a little cape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was and it was the new Quake. Uh -huh. And then they just went kind of downhill from there. But um, I mean, Quisp, but they had, you could order I had a guns. Quisp yeah, you could I had order a, a gun, gun off the Quisp. Oh, yeah. the Quisp, there. Quisp Cosmic Clouder. I yeah. One. Mm. You poured baking soda in it and just shot it every time it left residue all over. <laughs> so it's like, Parents love it. I don't know where mine is. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, probably, an, that's probably another reason why they, they disappeared <laughs> because they get these. Uh, Big when toys that left there. Captain Crunch is still around. That's true. Captain Crunch and then King Vitaman, he, sure. they started Well, there. King Vitaman, you, he started off as a cartoon. King Vitaman, have breakfast with the king. King Vitaman, have breakfast with the king in a sweet core taste. And all the vitamins you need. Yeah, yeah, he did. And, like a real guy. and then he became a real guy. And they had King Vitamin, they had Sir laugh a lot they had the yeah, Not-So-Bright the Knight. They yeah. just had all these characters. It was great. But, um... He's gone now. <laughs> and then there were there was uh one of my another one of my fra uh, favorites the freakies. Oh yeah. The freakies, we are the freakies. This is the freakies tree. We never miss a meal. Oh no, cause we love our cereal. Was, uh, I had all the freaky. Well, I had all the freaky little Robert characters. Cow mumble. Um, goody goody. Grumble. Gargle. Ham hose. They're probably still in my mom's refrigerator. That's probably where they are. But I had every single one of them. They were, they were just great. It's like, it's like you, it's like these little characters convinced you that you to be part of their club. You eat their cereal and they'd be your friends for life. Wow. It's because like they, what, a, what a deal. There was a commitment and these, there. And the Freaky's um, cereal grew on trees. That's, yeah, that was the whole grew on the Freaky tree. It grew on the Freaky tree. Yeah, that's, that's real believable now those television. Came back, those came back a little while ago, but yeah, they it wasn't did. the same they were, uh, They used NutraSweet. And they were all like cool in uh, California, and they all had on yeah. surfer shirts. Yeah, and they changed they, their names. They flew in from what, outer space on uh, surfboards. Now, now with uh, Wall Street Korean is doing this, they are buying whatever property that's hot at the moment and putting out a product, and, it, and the product like doesn't change and it's in a different box like they had the batman cereal there for yeah, a while yeah and i think they had, yeah then they had like a jetson cereal i think well it's it's still yeah. out now right now and it's like whatever whatever is buy it now cereal. it'll be gone boom it's the same cereal There's a turtle cereal yeah it's the same there was cereal. A cereal yes the same cereal that boom get, get the thing out there as soon as kids get, kids get bored of it there as soon as the sales go down boom it's gone <laughs> and there was mr t cereal there's the uh the dunkin but donut like, cereal like, oh, now there's, like, there's nutrition <laughs> but these are like leeching off of established characters where we had our cereals had characters original there. characters no, original characters but, yeah but then the commercials were just original there yeah we sang commercials just think right. we sang commercials and yummy yummy a digger digger bowl full uh, you get a <laughs> good good flavor <laughs> oceans of inner didn't <laughs> call kellogg's puffa puffa rice <laughs> that was a great scene that was uh, Puff a puff a rice. Or and we used to Hawaii. make like the parodies of our of our commercials. Oh, yeah. You know, like the chef we are What are we having for lunch? <laughs> well, what are we having for lunch? Chef we are D mm -hmm. commercial. It had a nice little. Oh, well, they were parody. Several, <laughs> like, the which comet, I don't think the, I'm allowed to whole, see. There was the whole comet thing. Yeah. You know, <laughs> comet, comet comet cleanser. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Makes your teeth turn green. green. Comet.
This was like a soothing. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Except okay. we don't know about the other one either. Yeah, I'm sure they don't. Oh yeah, right. Either sure their kids come in and say, yeah. you know, come on. I just, it's just sad that we don't have original, real original jingle commercials sure. like Hardly we have. Hardly anymore. They, 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 like you said, the commercials uh, are commercials now, and back then it was more like it was pop art kind of. Well, yeah, they had to, they had stuff. to impress you, but now yeah. they're. They're well, see, really competing against the shows now. I mean, right. Before they were, the show depended upon the commercial, so they knew people would watch. Even though, even though, on the show they would not allow them to show products. I can remember watching many episodes of the Beverly Hillbillies. They'd be eating Kellogg's cornflakes. You'd know they were Kellogg's cornflakes. Jethro is pouring them into that bowl. He's munching them up. But they've got the name covered off on the box. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they had it taped right over. That's right. They used big black tape, in fact. Cause yes. It, <laughs> it just looked so um, incongruous there. They were, they were generic cornflakes. So what do they do now? <laughs> what, do, what, do, what do they do now? You can go to the store. You can buy generic food. Yeah. Why? Because yeah. of the fact that they used to not show <laughs> names on shows. Amazing. So they said, okay, we'll make generic food. And now they can go ahead and show the names. So they've got all this generic food that's out there, which is the same stuff, but yet nobody buys it. Why? Because they'd rather have the brand name that they could put on the show. No, that's right. <laughs> oh, well, what, my, what my, What you my. see today is uh, when you get a chance to see older commercials, uh, pre, let's say pre-1980, Nick is the, 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 the speed of the commercials today and say, boy, these are commercials are slow because now we're geared toward this MTV thing where we can just, we can watch commercials that I, I'm convinced if you showed somebody from about, like, say, 1970, a commercial made today, most of them made today, they'd just be like, I got nothing out of that. I, I mean, it was just like random images. Boom, 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 Like, what was that? I don't even know what product it was. There's a lot of wino video out yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it's just, I, I think MTV, I think in, in future, like in, in future generations, they're going to say that, that video was like pre-MTV and post-MTV. It's going to uh -huh. actually be broken into those two eras when everything just sped up enormously. And, and shots went from being like a minute shot or a 30 second shot to a two second shot. And, and it was like boom, 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 boom. Well, I have seen the old Ruffles commercial back uh, mm -hmm. with a little baby. And yeah, it is slow. Yeah. Yeah. And just like, oh, we can pick it up a little because we're geared to the new. No, I'm, I mean, growing up with those, right. it's like. Yeah. I might even buy this product. <laughs> the nostalgia. Yeah, it's, it's uh, and, the, and the old, um, not using the original voice, the old Sunkiss voice. Yeah, Sunkiss, yeah. Right. With the, the monster dad. Right. When you're with having the W.C. Fields one. voice, but now he's got a better voice. Yeah. Because it's like nobody knows who W.C. Fields is anymore, I guess. <laughs> Oh, and W.C. Frito. W.C. Frito? The Frito Bandito? Frito. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. All and right. Kids, you <laughs> who, are these, who are these people? <laughs> what are they Chicken talking dogs. about? <laughs> well, anyways, we're being given the signal that it's about time to get out of here. Uh, next time on Vast Wasteland, we're going to be looking at, uh, uh, it's going to be another of our big cartoon shows. All okay. right. Warner Brothers. Terry Tunes, um, I think we're doing some Harvey stuff. Yeah. Just, well, just whatever, you know, we're just going to kind of do a cartoon grab bag kind of yes. thing. Anybody that isn't Hanna Barbera, which right. we already did. <laughs> we did that big two part Hanna Barbera. So you'll. Uh, so we're just going to see what else we can get into. So How many uh, cartoons we can mash into that half hour? That's right. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, so uh, remember, uh, again, our, uh, we're on Tuesdays at uh, 6, Wednesdays at 10, Thursdays at 3 on ACTV. For all of us here at Vast Wasteland, we'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.